Hi, this is Debbie Simpson with the Be Free Respect podcast. This is from the blog post, Gratitude and Brain Rewiring, as read from BeFreeRespect.com. This post was originally shared on December 1st, 2023. Before we begin, I want to remind you that I am not a brain specialist or brain rewiring expert. I am simply sharing my personal journey and my personal understanding as it makes sense to me. Gratitude an increasing effort in my brain rewiring journey. I didn't realize the extent of my focus on gratitude this year until I reread the posts I've written through these past several months. I created a podcast recently in order to offer audio recordings of my blog posts for those who prefer to listen rather than read. I recorded 15 posts that I'd written over the course of eight months. Until rereading them back to back, I didn't realize just how often I use the words grateful and gratitude. It made me feel good to know that gratitude has been a natural part of my journey. It continues to be a conscious effort to increase my focus daily. First, I care what you think of me. Before continuing, I'd like to clarify something. In general, I advocate the fact that what others think of us isn't important. I am working on letting this go myself. I'm working on being okay to be self-ish, not selfish, but self-ish, meaning it's okay to recognize our own needs and their importance. With that being said, since I'm sharing a post about gratitude, and since I wrote a gratitude journal series that I advertise at the end of every blog post, I do care what you think. I want to be clear that this post, this journey, this blog is not about selling books. Well, it would surely be awesome, really awesome, if they provided an income. Those books have been a result of this journey, not the other way around. If you've been following me for any length of time, you probably already know this about me, but I just felt the need to say that. And now that I got that off my chest, let's move on. Although, side note, I probably will do a post that specifically, specifically on that gratitude journal. Just letting you know. (laughs) All right, let's move on. Gratitude, a beautiful daily edition. According to an article posted in Princeton Health News titled, Can Gratitude Improve Quality of Life? Quote, the practice of gratitude encourages the development of new neural pathways. End quote. Hmm, neural pathways, that's what I'm doing with brain rewiring, creating new neural pathways, just saying. And it also included, quote, when gratitude is expressed and or received, the brain releases dopamine and serotonin, two crucial neurotransmitters responsible for our emotions. Dopamine and serotonin contribute to feelings of pleasure, happiness, and overall well-being, end quote. Well, if the emotion of gratitude can increase joy, isn't this a habit worth practicing? I find gratitude to be an important part of my daily brain rewiring journey. Gratitude through my blog posts. Well, we each have habits, both positive and negative. Without knowing, there can be some awesome science behind some of those habits. Learning that gratitude releases those happy hormones, dopamine and serotonin, I am working on being more intentional with my daily practice. I found it pretty cool to hear myself repeat those words grateful and gratitude quite often through the 15 posts I recently recorded for my podcast. When I decided to go on a scavenger hunt to find all the times I used these words, I discovered one word or the other was used a total of 40 times through those articles. And out of those 15 posts, there is only one that didn't include either of those words. I shared all 40 of those in the written version of this podcast. If you go to BeFreeRespect.com backslash gratitude and brain rewiring, you can read all 40 of those. I'll just share some of them here in this podcast. So hang on. From post number one, titled Today is a New Day. What if I become more conscious of all the things I have to be grateful for? From post number seven, brain rewiring, I wasn't ready. It's a slow and steady journey but the overall direction is towards sunnier days and I am beyond grateful. From post number nine, titled Fragrance Illness, some thoughts. I am so grateful for learning about DNRS and brain rewiring. 
I'm grateful for the journey this past 15 months has found me on. I'm grateful for learning that my reactions are due to a maladapted stress response in my limbic system. And I'm grateful for learning how to diminish that response. From post number 13, titled, Allow Light into Moments of Your Day. As you intentionally practice these moments, you just might eventually find more and more reasons to feel gratitude throughout your day. And you just might find gratitude to be an increasingly more automatic response. And last, from post number 15, when contrast leads to better things. I am recognizing more and more the impact gratitude is having on my brain rewiring journey. Just like my workouts in the gym, I am taking it slow and gradual. I'm not pushing myself. I do what I can and then move on. Share your gratitude. So now it's your turn. Share three things you are grateful for at this moment. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the reading of this blog post as read from BeFreeRespect.com. Check out the website for other blog posts. And start a joy and gratitude journal. Practice focus on the brighter moments of the day.